So how about uh, wardrobe malfunctions for you? Did you have problems with the, uh, the nuclear man costume at all? Uh, no, it was, it was fairly comfortable. I mean, the, uh, when I arrived, it, it looked totally different from what it became. I, right. I didn't really like the way it looked. It was more like a Superman outfit, the long sleeves, mm -hmm. things like that. And I, I, I liked the idea of more bullets and sleeveless and that kind of thing. So, um, it, you certainly didn't want to move much. Sit down somewhere and don't move. Don't wrinkle the cape. Um, but I can't think of any uh, real problems with it. It was actually fairly comfortable out there. Right. Okay, any more questions out here? How about this, uh, this fine looking fellow over here? You want to? Yeah. I'm not <laughs> For Tracy, you mentioned Lewis and Clark. Did Gerard ever speak about? the disappointment over being offered the part of Clark and then having it taken away because of his association with Superboy, or had the cast pretty much already parted ways by the time that happened? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, we were all disappointed when the show ended, and um, I believe, because I had this conversation with Rennie and Sam last night, uh, Gerard auditioned for Lois and Clark. And they actually really liked him um, and said he nailed it and he, it was in the bag for him. And then, I don't, what, I'm not sure, but didn't they say they just didn't want anything to do with the old cast? And they found out that he was, they didn't know that he was with Superboy. They were going to give it to him, but then when they found out from his resume that he, he was Superboy, they, they took it from him. So yeah, he was very disappointed because he really wanted to continue um, and do Lois and Clark. But they didn't want anyone from the old show. Um, I don't, we, that's all kind of a mystery to all of us, but yeah, he was disappointed. Okay, anybody else? Yes, sir, down the front here. Building on the question I asked earlier, want to wait for the mic? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Okay. Building on the question I asked before, now after, I, I just realized that we were sitting here, mm -hmm. you both have played roles that didn't really exist in the comics prior to your, your depiction, even though they are very similar to, to other characters. In a way, you both put a stamp on the mythos, you know, your own kind of personal thing. How do you feel about that? Well, I, I was actually put in DC Comics. Um, they did put Darlin'. That was like a shining moment for me yeah. when I got the phone call from DC Comics and they said, well, we'd like to take you to lunch because your character has taken a whole new spin on things and people really like Darla and um, would you be interested in letting us put you in the comics? And I was just like, oh, um, let me think about that for a minute. Really? Yes. <laughs> Where do I sign? There it is. <laughs> so that was great. That was awesome to be a uh, part of that. So. Immortalized in the comics, that's great. And you, you had your own uh, comic as well from the film, right? I did. I, there's a lot of things that I haven't seen after it to see if anything evolved from that character. Uh, but I, having it not been a character that you knew already from the comics, it gave me the freedom to say, let me just do what I want to do, be creative with it and play. So that was, that's always great fun for an actor. So what are you guys doing these days? What have you got going on? What are you up to? Uh, well, after the show had ended, um, my husband and I, he's in the audience back there. Hi, wave your hand. Say hi. There he is. That's my husband. Um, Lucky fellow. Um, I, I just, I, I got pregnant with my second daughter, um, and when the show ended, my husband uh, had hair salons. He has actually did Elizabeth Taylor's hair. Wow. Um, he was, we went, he says, you want to move back to Maryland? I have some salons that they want to give back to me and open. And I was like, sure, let's do it. And I just spend most of the time, we have the hair salons in Maryland, and I help him run the business, and I just take care of my girls. And I'm a new grandmother now. Of my, uh, two, I have two grandbabies now. Wow. So <laughs> that's fun. Um, so yeah, but my daughter said to me, recently, because she's getting ready to, she's going to graduate next year, and she says, Mom, you know, you've done your part here, why don't you go back in acting? And I said, well, I might, see, I did try out for Survivor. <laughs> I want to be on Survivor. All of you guys help me, because I'm going to try again. So go, go on the Survivor website and vote for me next time in there, because I would love to do that. 
So we'll see. You never know. So you're getting back into the game, maybe getting a headshot, you're getting yeah. an agent, you're knocking on doors and stuff again? Starting out, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Well, it's kind of hard to do in D.C. There's not a lot there. But, um, if she goes to college, I might take a trip out and see Rennie in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> And how about you? What's, um, your, what's your deal, Ben? After after that, I, I worked in Europe for a few years. Uh, I did a mini series based on one of Jack London's books. We filmed in Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Russia with James Hill, who won an Academy Award with a great with a great cast. And I had to dress up and do wonderful things with uh, dog sleds and fight and shoot and ride horses. And the most incredible thing came out of that experience is I met my wife who's still my wife, 20 years ago. She was assistant makeup, and we were filming in um, the Tatra Mountains of Poland. And she didn't speak a word of English, but she didn't need to. Uh, oh my God. Uh, she's still stunning. She's, she's great. And then he came back from that, and we had my first daughter, Megan, who will be 19 in October, um, and Jessica, who's 14. And my life, we, we, we stayed in Santa Monica until about four, I guess, and uh, completely committed to raising the family. That that was my has been my life for the past 19 years. It's very, very much involved with them. And bringing a, a girl from a former communist country to this, you don't realize how much you know until you try and teach somebody how it is to live in this country and learn to drive a car and write a check. And so uh, that's been my life. Um, we moved to Steamboat Springs for three years, and then we've been in Texas uh, for almost four. And I sell, I, I work for, for a distributor who sells fine wine, and I really, it's great fun because the product is so good. It's fun already. And around with wonderful people, wonderful managers, great company. It's never boring. Uh, I'm taking a trip to Oregon um, in three weeks to visit um, a winery. So that's my life now. Yeah, it's, it's that. So my, daughter, my eldest starts college next year, my youngest starts high school next year. Um, if I was going to revisit this business, I really I like the idea of um, voice professional, possibly, or narration. I, I really like the idea of taking somebody somewhere with a camera and showing them and teaching it. That would be the ultimate, I think. Very cool. It's great that you guys got a chance to put your stamp on uh, Superman history and just get to go on and uh, lead some awesome lives. It's great. It's, it's great to see you guys are so so happy and well adjusted because you know sometimes people come and go and you know <laughs> it's, it's great uh, any other questions we got one all the way in the back whoosh yeah, I don't want to show off <laughs> If there's anybody on the production team or anybody behind the scenes that ever second guessed the scene where you fly Meryl Hemingway into space yeah. and nothing happens to her? I saw I saw the film again yesterday for the first time in a long time and I just I just wow. <laughs> Nobody left with that yeah. thing that wouldn't work. <laughs> Creative license, I suppose. Wow. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Here we got one right back there. Um, I've heard lots of different stories 